A small business owner is asking for your help tonight after someone drove away with his company food truck from right in front of his home. New at 5, News 3's Kelsey Thomas is live to show us the truck that should be easy to spot. And Jim, someone out there put the brakes on this local man's work after stealing that food truck. Police say they are investigating, but that man is hoping someone out there might recognize the truck and see it out there on the roads. I wanted to bring a real East Coast deli to Vegas. When you hear Eric Hobby talk, you can probably guess where he's from. I'm from New York, yeah. Yeah. Been out here 15 years. He brought the East Coast to the West Coast, opening up his own food truck, a family secret where the meals match his accent. My whole thing is like a take on, you know, mobster style sandwiches. So my, my number one seller was the mafioso. It was a roast beef, mozzarella, pepperoncinis, bacon on garlic bread. All of his grub made in this food truck that's now missing. It disappeared from his neighborhood near Robindale and Jones on the south side of the valley. It stands out like a sore thumb. You can't miss the thing. You know, it's red, it's got the celebrities on it, the Frank Sinatra, the Elvis, the Audrey Hepburn. Someone wanted the $100,000 truck more than he did, stealing it from the street next to his house. I'm looking over my shoulder. Every time someone drives down the street, they're a suspect to me. You know, and it just, it, 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 it sucks to have to live that way. As Eric tells us, he went out of town in June, coming back to find the truck gone. The timing couldn't be worse. What he calls his Super Bowl of sales is coming up. The Life is Beautiful Festival downtown. And that's a $15,000 event. Easily. A brazen theft and a business on wheels now gone. Eric's looking for any help finding out who did this and where his truck might be. This was my bread and butter. This was my baby. You know, this is something that I've dreamed of. I mean, I pray the police find this guy before I do, you know. Police do need your help on this one. If you have any information about where that food truck might be, you can call Crime Stoppers 702-385-5555. We also have all of Eric's contact information on our website. Reporting live tonight from Metro headquarters, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. It is a recognizable truck. Hopefully it is found soon. Kelsey, thanks.